Today on Florida Sport Fishing. Magic depth for Wahoo fishing. See about that 130 to 180, 150 to 200. Oh my lord. Woo! Get him in the boat. Yeah! Look at that. That's a thick fish, bro. Ho ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. Got one on, got one on. Oy. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly endorses and utilizes Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. VMC Hooks, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. BioGreen Clean, the first and only eco-friendly, heavy-duty, multi-surface cleaner that actually works. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, we've got Captain Carlos on board. Good morning. We're on our Mercury-powered CV-370Z and we're going out early in the morning here to do some high-speed Wahoo fishing. How yeah, exciting buddy. is that? It's just <laughs> something we certainly get hyped up about. I'll tell you what, just a really, really awesome fish. Everybody goes you know, nuts over these Wahoo. Lots of different ways to catch them. Absolutely. Kite yeah. fishing. Uh, drifting with jigging. live baits, jigging, mm -hmm. but arguably the most exciting method and perhaps the most challenging is high speed trolling. And that's what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a lot about the rods and the reels. We're going to talk a lot about the terminal tackle. We're going to get into detail about the lures. We're going to talk about trolling spreads, positioning, positioning, mm -hmm. you know, yep. where we're fishing, why we're fishing there, mm -hmm. and really just get into the nitty gritty of everything that's involved with high speed trolling Wahoo off the south southeast coast of Florida here. Just got our bait set, sun's coming up. A Little bit of a chop, but this will come and go. You know, the weather in South Florida changes every 15 minutes. You know, important, teamwork, just like every other type of fishing. You know, Carlos and I are gonna switch off. Whoever's at the wheel, let them worry about the wheel. You know, pay attention to what's going on, where you're trolling, speed, coming up and down off the edge. Guy that's in the cockpit, worry about the cockpit constantly checking the drags, making sure lines aren't crossed, really monitoring the entire spread. It's a team effort, and when it comes together, super exciting. Let's talk a little bit about trolling speed. Remember, high-speed Wahoo fishing. High speed is not five to six knots. That's not what this game is about. Fast, 12 knots at an absolute minimum. I found the key speed, 14, 15 knots, somewhere in that ballpark. Speed is going to be dictated by the conditions, okay? The calmer it is, the faster you can go. The rougher it is, the slower you're going to go. Are you going up C or down C, beam two? You know, there's a lot of different factors that come, that come into play. Where we're trolling, you know, the magic depth for Wahoo fishing even though you can catch these fish out to 800, 1,000, 1,200 feet, really seems to be about that 130 to 180, 150 to 200, you know, right in that ballpark. They're traveling up and down the edge. There's a slope along the southeast coast here, all the way from Miami, all the way up to Palm Beach and beyond. Then it drops off. That's where these Wahoo are feeding. They're cruising up and down that edge. So that 150 to 200 is really the perfect place. And really what we're doing is we're swerving. We're kind of making a really loose S pattern. We're going shallower, bringing our lures up on the edge and then turning back off and dragging those baits, dragging those lures off that edge into deeper water. All of the different pieces to the puzzle work together in order to achieve success. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance. 
safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year round. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. We're going to try out this new folding fillet knife from Bubba Blade on these big grouper. We're going to try to gut them and see how this thing works. Oh man, like butter. I mean, that, that, that doesn't get any easier. Golly, unbelievable. Right through like butter. I love the new gut knife from Bubba Blade. It's compact, the best of all. It's like a pocket knife, man. You just close that thing up and put it away. Love it. Great little knife. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. Captain Carlos. How's it going? And myself, we're aboard our CV370Z out doing some high-speed Wahoo fishing. Wanted to take a break from the action, talk to you in detail about the tackle that we're fishing and what works for us. Absolutely. For starters, is the reel itself super important. You know, back in the day, a lot of guys were fishing wire. Monel. You know, Monel, mm -hmm. stainless yep. wire, a lot of the pros, mm -hmm. especially the guys fishing the Wahoo Championships yep. and some Wahoo tournaments, a lot of guys still prefer that wire. It still works. However, it certainly has evolved a lot. Braid has entered the picture. Right. You know, a lot of guys are starting to fish Wahoo on braid. And then, of course, there's that third option, what you see us doing, and that's the high vis 80 pound diamond line, the monofilament. Mm -hmm. A lot of, you know, a lot of stretch, yep. very forgiving. From there, the reel itself. We like these Alu Technos reels. A lot of guys are fishing. International, Tiagras. Tiagras, yeah. what else? Makairas. Absolutely. Yeah. And then even guys yeah. are fishing electric reels. Absolutely. And they've incorporated electric reels like the Hooker Electric and the LP, you know, into their high-speed Wahoo trolling arsenal. Not something that we need to do here along the Southeast Coast. Not something that everybody needs to do, but I guess if you want to go in that direction, you certainly can. Right. You know, being able to push a button to retrieve that lure and a heavy trolling lid certainly is a benefit. But again, yeah. not necessary. What is necessary and what is a really big benefit is the low gear, low two speed. Speeds, buddy. A two speed reel yeah. with low gear, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Crucial. <laughs> crucial luxury. Yeah. You know, luxury. Yeah. Yeah. Really gives you a big advantage when it comes to reeling in that fish. Remember, you've got a big fish on, boat's still moving forward. You're never stopping that boat. That low gear is certainly important. Well, and when he's running and going deep, you pop it into low gear, you get more torque Absolutely, that way, Absolutely, no so, question. Yeah. So we've got plenty of line capacity on the reel, hundreds and hundreds of yards of that high-vis diamond line. At the end of it, we've doubled up the line with a bimini twist with a loop-to-loop -loop connection. We've connected a 25-foot long, 200-pound test wind-on leader. That simple. The end of the wind-on leader, a heavy-duty ball-bearing snap swivel. From there, we add our inline trolling lead. In this particular case, I happen to have a 24 ounce lead right here in my hand, but these certainly can go all the way on up to 48, 54 ounces. Put that right on your snap. Make sure your snap is closed, just like that. Little piece of wire on both sides yep. and painted white. Both help prevent getting cut off. Pretty much. So from the end of our trolling lead, the next thing we're gonna add is about a 30 foot, 40 foot section of shock cord, you yep. know, this is two to 300 pound monofilament. Like I said, 30, 40, maybe even 50 feet, but certainly no longer than that. That is actually gonna go in between the trolling lead and the lures themselves. And this is a big one, the lure. What lure do I pull? 
big, big equation here. You know, there's a lot of different options out on the market. Variety is key. Oh man, there's so yeah. many different Wahoo mm -hmm. lures out there. Carlos, if you had to pick one color, what would it be? You just touched it. Purple and black. No. Nope. No. Nope. Red black and black. And black and red. Okay, so dark black colors. Black and red, man. Black and red. Killer lure. Bullet shaped head. Big red eyes. Okay, that's your, the epitome of a high speed Wahoo mm -hmm. lure right there. It's heavy and it's a big bait. There's certainly a lot of other options. Yozuri style bait. Yozuri yep. Bonita. Super effective. You've got to have one of these in your trolling spread. Jed heads. Okay, I can't say enough about jet heads. You can see this one. We've trimmed the skirt a little bit on the bottom so it doesn't get fouled up with the hook. That's something you should do with all of your Wahoo lures. Absolutely. Little jets. So it creates a lot of smoke mm -hmm. and a big profile. Looks like an even larger bait. How about this one? A blunt head lure. A lot of guys are afraid to troll blunt head lures when they're high speed trolling and they shouldn't be. It can be super effective. Staple in every Wahoo spread pretty much anywhere in the world is an Islander style lure. Okay, on top of a skirt, there's a lead jammed up inside that skirt there, big profile. Uh, acrylic head lures, don't discount these either. You'll catch a lot of Wahoo on these clear acrylic lures. Okay, but keep in mind, this is a lot lighter than one of these heavy metal head lures. So, so you gotta need, adjust accordingly. You have to adjust. You're gonna yeah. need more lead, right. you know, to get this lure to swim properly. All of these lures are rigged from anywhere from 275 to 400 pound cable, mm -hmm. absolutely essential. A lot of them have a two hook rig. Why? Wahoo are notorious for coming up to a bait and chopping off the tail. Yeah. Okay. They literally well, they try and break it in half. Yeah. I they mean, cut the motor off. Right. You know, right. and once that motor is off and yeah. that tail's gone, they'll turn back around and they'll eat the rest of the bait. Right. So that mm -hmm. second hook often grabs them when they're coming up mm -hmm. to, to attack that bait. If you make sure every one of your connections is perfect, make sure you do everything right. You've got the right gear. Little variety. Little variety. You yep. want some dark colors, yep. some light colors for different conditions. Mm -hmm. But you put all of the pieces to the puzzle together, and I'll tell you, you can have an absolutely awesome experience. Absolutely. Mercury engine tap. Corrosion protection you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Accomplished anglers recognize King Sailfish Mounts as the industry leader. What started as an effort to increase conservation awareness has evolved into a challenge to handcraft the most lifelike mounts available. With a rich combination of lacquers, pearls, and iridescence, we reproduce the most striking colors imaginable, bringing back both the memory and the thrill. At King Sailfish, it's all about catch and release and preserving our sport for future generations. Visit us at kingselfishmounts.com. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit joeyacardicdjr.com. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, Log on to wannabein.com. Mercury engine tap. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. You know, one of the really cool things I think about high speed Wahoo fishing is the ability to cover so much ground. Very quickly. You know, very quickly. We're trolling at really about 15 to 16 knots right now. Kind of the sweet spot. Yeah, and we're covering just a tremendous amount of ground. And that's one of the biggest advantages when you're chasing a, a fish or that's looking for a fish that A, is that <laughs> fast, and B, is yeah. primarily a solitary hunter. Right. You know, another advantage to the high-speed trolling for Wahoo is very little bycatch. You get that bite, you get that screaming run, and it's the right kind. You game know, on. Game on, nine out of 10 times. 
Now, a couple things that I think that we need to talk about that are really important. One of them is the moon phase and the current, and they kind of go hand in hand with mm -hmm. each other. So moon phase, what do you believe is the best moon phase for you know chasing Wahoo? Usually the first few days before, prior to the full moon, and then after. That's always been pretty reliable. Right, you know? so, so a few days before the full moon yeah. or a new moon, and right. a few days after the full moon or right. a new moon. Stronger tides. Stronger tides, yeah. stronger currents, more water moving right. on and off the more edge. More movement, more life. You more know? life, yeah. more bait, more activity, right. you know, a lot of different advantages. Now that's not to say that 365 days a year, you can't come out here and catch a Wahoo no. anytime. No, they're eating, they still gotta eat. So, right, yeah. you still gotta eat. And a lot of times, you know what's interesting, a lot of times these Wahoo are here, you know, you're fishing in a likely area, you've got the right conditions, you see bait in the area, nice clean water, you know, maybe you're just coming off of a full moon, you've got really good conditions, you're not getting the bite, but that doesn't mean the fish aren't here. Yeah. You know they turn on and off like this. Half an hour, maybe. Half an hour, That's they'll it. come on, they'll yeah. feed, and then boom, the bite's off. Yep. So it's the same thing with the Wahoo, and that's one of the reasons that the charter boats that come out here catch a lot of Wahoo, because yeah. they're here every single day, yeah. and they're there when that bite turns on. Yeah, you low know? light conditions is always beneficial, too. No question, so yeah. you've got to put yeah. in the time you know, I'm not one of those guys that looks at the moon and says, well, I got this bite on this tide during this moon. But there's guys like that. There are, and <laughs> yeah. you've got to make yeah. mental notes. Right. But at the end of the day, go fishing when you can go That's fishing. That's it. That's it. Got him on, baby. Got him on. Oh, he's way back there. Yeah. All right, pull him all the way back, but just leave him in idle. Now, if you get a fish on the, on the shore bait, you don't have to reel up the long bait. But if you get a fish on the long bait, you definitely have to reel up the shorts. And you can see we've got the boating gear, keeping constant pressure. You don't, you know, you got a big trolling lead. You don't want that fish to shake that hook. Pop this into low gear and just slowly persuade them in. Make sure there's no slack in the line. Remember though, these things are so streamlined, you know, and they exert a tremendous amount of energy when they trigger into supersonic and go to attack that bait. And they're super fast, up to 60 miles an hour. But the problem is, at least the problem for the fish, is that they exert all of their energy on that initial attack. So they're certainly strong and fast after that initial attack, but they lose a lot of their steam, a lot of their steam. Still there? I feel like it just popped off. Anything there? No, it came off. Came off? Man. Broke the hook off. Really? That's nice. Well, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Another one on the jig. Woo! That's Grouper Dynamo. How's that for a sea monster? Chaos, gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques. Close to 200 pages, each issue is packed with instructional articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $29.97 for a two-year subscription. For home delivery, visit fsftv.com. Subscribe now and receive a free shirt, unlimited access to our new digital edition, and a special bonus gift. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly endorses and utilizes Boat Outfitters. From replacement parts to hard to find hardware, boat owners and builders turn to BoatOutfitters.com. Salt Life Sport Optics. Ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Dr. Dan's. From lip balm to sunblock, a complete skincare line designed for life on the water. Tropic Trailer. Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark. Technical footwear designed for boating and fishing enthusiasts. 
Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're just getting ready to set the spread again. Want to talk to you in detail here. First rod, my center rod right here. This is going to be the first lure that I deploy. This is going to be the furthest one back. Oftentimes we'll fish a Yozuri Bonita on this particular rod, sometimes with a 24 ounce trolling lead, sometimes without, depends on the conditions. Next, I'm going to move over to my starboard transom corner here. And I've got a big purple jet. You can see a lot of little jet heads right up in that lure. It creates a lot of smoke, big profile. You could also see I trim that skirt right to the point of the hook so it doesn't get tangled with that hook. Is it going to deter a strike? I don't know, but you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. So this one is on some wire. We've got a 40 foot shot cord, 48 ounce trolling lead. This is going to be the second bait that I put out. Now keep in mind, the center bait, I might let that out, I don't know, 25 or 30 seconds, way out behind the boat. Oftentimes I'll dump at least a third, maybe half a spool. I like it way, way back there. My next rod here, I'm gonna keep a little bit shorter. I'm gonna stagger these, but I'm gonna keep it shorter. This might go out 15 to 20 seconds. And again, about a third of a spool, a quarter to a third of a spool. Finally, my third bait is gonna be an absolute favorite an Islander type skirted lure. Again, you can see I trim that skirt so that trailing hook is fully exposed. This also is on the same shot cord, the same 48 ounce trolling lead. Remember, you wanna fish the same weight trolling leads off each transom corner. And this is gonna be our short bait. Remember, 25 to 30 seconds, you know, a third to a half a spool, 15 to 20 seconds, a quarter of a spool, and this one might be 10 to 15 seconds, you know, right back at the end of the white water. And by staggering these in these particular positions, you almost can go in figure eights and never get tangled. Oh my Lord. Woo! Got him on. Screaming bite. Good yep. fish, good fish. He's still going, man. Look at that, dumped at least 100, 150 yards. Looks like they're chewing. Hold on. Yep. There we go. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Him. Easy. Take your time. Just wait for it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Easy, easy. Get him in the boat. Yeah! Yes! Yes, yes! Yes! Now that right there, baby, woo! Is a pig! If that doesn't get your adrenaline pumping. You don't need to be out here. High speed fishing for Wahoo. <laughs> Putting in all of the time and effort. You've got to picture this. We're trolling along. 15 knots. Lures racing through the water. Right here. Look at that, he destroyed it. This guy sees that bait. Thinks it's a bonita. Kicks it into supersonic hyperspeed. Slime completely covers his body. All of his fins retract and he just attacks. One swift 50 mile an hour rush, crushes the lure, ripped the skirt apart, look at that. Completely ripped it up, popped both eyes out of the jet head. That's how hard that fish hit that lure. This is the kind of tackle that you need because this is the kind of fish that you could catch right here. Look at that. That's a thick fish, bro. Look at that <laughs> jaw, okay. You wanna know why we fish cable, and you wanna know how this guy attacks a bonita and cuts it in half. I mean, if that's not one of the craziest predators that you've ever seen, related to tuna, related to king mackerel, but in a class all their own. More teeth and larger teeth than a king mackerel of equal size. Well, they get up to 200 pounds, man, or you know, across the, the world. The world yeah. record is 158, yeah. but they are believed to right. get to 200 pounds. Right. Here in Florida, there's no size limit. However, you are allowed two fish per person per day. That's uh, the rules and the regs. This is certainly a quality fish here. You can see that hook is way in there, and I am not sticking my hand in there to get that hook out right now. I'll worry about that later. He'll put you into surgery. But this fish is about, whoop, he's about 50 pounds. Absolutely beautiful. And this is what high speed trolling is about. You know, this is one example. I, I, we talk a lot about, a lot about this. How one fish 
can make a big difference. Makes the day, man. Makes the day. And here we are. Yeah. We've put all this time and effort to come out here. High Speed Troll. Talk to you about all, all of this. We talked about the tackle. We talked about the lures, about the trolling spread, about the baits, about the sinkers, the trolling leads. Line, leader, swivels, end, everything. End result right here. And that's it. When it all comes <laughs> together, one fish can make a huge, huge difference. Captain's Kitchen, presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Wahoo is one of the best tasting fish in the sea, and I've got a simple recipe for you you're absolutely going to love. Panko crusted Wahoo bites. I'll tell you, crispy on the outside, soft and juicy on the inside, couple of special sauces. You're gonna thank me for this one. You've gotta start off with fresh fish. Take your time cleaning that Wahoo very carefully. Get rid of all of the skin, all of the dark impurities. You wanna end up with nice clean fillets that you can cut into bite-sized pieces. From that point, I add a little bit of kosher salt and some fresh ground black pepper right on top of the nuggets. I dip them in flour, shake off the excess flour, and then dip them right into scrambled egg. And I like to add a little bit of lemon juice into my egg. From there, I cover them really well, coat them evenly and really well in seasoned panko breadcrumbs. Really crispy, great stuff. Dip them in hot oil, 350 degree peanut oil in an iron skillet, 30 seconds each side. Don't overcook Wahoo, it cooks super, super fast. Boom, you're done, let them drain. Plate them. I like to serve my Wahoo bites with some Thai sweet red chili sauce, really, really tangy. And I also like to add a little bit of spicy mayo or some yum yum sauce. And I'll tell you what, how about that? Voila. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.